morning, 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 and welcome to the marvelous Maasai Mara. Uh, sorry about our tidiness this morning. Uh, Peter was bashing some gremlins on the head with a number 19 spanner. He seems to have done that. And we're out on a slightly chilly, cloudy, but nevertheless wonderful morning in the Maasai Mara. My name is Brent Leo Smith. I have Jandre on camera. And if you want to get hold of us, ask us any questions about this wonderful ecosystem. Uh, you can do so by using the hashtag Safari Live on Twitter. Now, it's an all-boy affair this morning. So Scott, Byron, James and myself out exploring. And uh, I can see some vehicles up ahead. I think there might be some lions just down the road. But my main focus today is not the kitty cats at all. No, siree. I decided today we're going to go look for where that large herd of wildebeest went. So those who were watching yesterday saw that incredible crossing narrated by James. Uh, I want to go see where those wildebeest went. No, it is not lions. It looks like a flat tire. Yes, there are people outside of the vehicle. There's a flat tire. So we're going to be bypassing them on our way. So we're going to be heading down towards the south and try to pick up, well, hopefully we just see the herd from a distance. If not, we can do some tracking. Tracking thousands of wildebeest is much easier than tracking one lion or leopard. So hopefully we will be able to do that. Okay, so this is the area where the Angamas were yesterday with Scott. We've got some... Ah! A very a good morrow to makeup girl, as you can see. I don't have any makeup. Uh, not yet, anyway. Although Final Control do keep trying to put us put put makeup on us, uh, but Makeup Girl would like to know: Is this reserve fenced? Uh, not at all. It is a completely open system, and uh, to the east and north of us are what we call conservancies. So those areas you will have wildlife and the Maasai and their cattle all living harmoniously. However, down where we are here, this is the national reserve. So uh, the cattle are not allowed into this part of the reserve uh, but there is no there is no what horrible english there are no fences uh, between the uh, communities and the reserve so no not fenced at all okay hang on we're just going to scoot by these vehicles and uh, practice some swahili while we do everybody else boy Ah, Santa's done. Just making sure everyone's okay. It looks like they're actually waiting uh, for someone to come. Uh, it looks like they're maybe waiting for people to jump off a balloon safari. Um, but there we go. Ooh, yay! As I, as I always like to do, and I haven't actually had a really good opportunity to do some birding uh, properly just yet. So I think maybe while we search for the wildebeest, we're going to do some birds. Now, we have shown you this guy before, and he's, oh no, don't fly away. Oh, he's flying. And they're very often Often sitting on these Balanites trees in this area, but it is a black breasted snake eagle. Here we go. Now, of course, they don't exclusively eat snakes, um, but they are quite fond of snakes. Now, one of the, the adaptations snake eagles have to be able to grab onto snakes in the grass is they've got massively overdeveloped uh, sort of almost like scales but obviously it's thickened skin on their legs uh, which enables them there even if they do get bitten by something like a puff adder or a black neck spitting cobra uh, it's very unlikely that those fangs will be able to insert themselves through that thickened skin um, that almost comes across as scales on their legs now the black breasted snake eagle is definitely one of my favorite birds that we see quite frequently in the, in the Mara and uh, I will definitely be keeping a lookout for a few others now fortunately where those wildebeest went um, down to the south there is a bird I've been dying to get on camera we've uh, nearly got it a couple of times and uh, it is a it is a very big tick for a lot of birders in Africa and that is the rosy throated long claw uh, very beautiful bird the back is all very drab looks a bit like a lark uh, and then as it turns it's got this bright pink throat. Sorry, let me just let this vehicle go past us. There we go. Uh, is that one or is there two? No, only one. Okay, let's carry on. Oh, 
and it sounds like Master Henry is having a birding day from the River Kimes. Let's go find out what he's got.